What's going on, y'all? It's the Fly Savatar on Xbox JG the Dime playing any game I can get my hands on at the time. This time, I have one of the most anticipated single player games as far as gaming is concerned. The developers and the consumers. I've been waiting for this since they announced it last year. Man. Because I was just so impressed when I took a chance in Gamefly Batman Arkham Asylum. This is by far the best superhero game that has come out. The only game that has rivaled this, as I said before, is Spider-Man 2. And maybe Wolverine. Actually, that Wolverine game wasn't too bad. And maybe Marvel Ultimate Alliance. But besides that, this is the best superhero game <laughs> I just can't tell you just how how great the game is. So, let's get down to the basics as far as the differences between Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. First of all, I mean the combat is pretty much the same format as what you had in Arkham Asylum. They brought a brand new combat system that no other action adventure game has seen before it's free flow combat every move transitions into another it's it's great i you know what more can you say about it on this one you actually have multiple enemies that will attack you at once and you can counter both of them or three people i actually seen three people but besides that it's just multiple enemies attack you at the same time so you can counter both of them uh and he has, you know, some, some new counters, some new actual melee moves. But besides that, it's pretty much the same thing, but they didn't need to update on that at all. It was great how it was, so I'm absolutely great that they, you know, I'm grateful that they left it the same. Um, he has some new gadgets. I have not unlocked everything yet, but I know that he does have some new gadgets. Um, but he pretty much just has, you know, the same things he has. The hacking device, he has a remote control battering, you know, things like that. So, that's really no biggie. Um, this game really focuses on DLC and side missions. On Batman Arkham Asylum, the only real side mission was the Riddler trophies. And those were a bitch to try to figure out all of them. I admit, I cheated. <laughs> I looked online, I looked on YouTube, and I found out where all the Riddler trophies were, and I got 100% Riddler trophies, but I forgot what else I was missing. I think I got everything in the story, but I didn't complete all the challenges, and I didn't get gold on them, so I, that's why I didn't get 100%, but it doesn't even matter. I got all the Riddler trophies. On this one, the Riddler trophies are... It's just a lot of them. It's a lot more than it was on on the last one. I'm not sure if they're harder or not because I haven't dabbled with them yet. I just got the trophies that came along my way, but I didn't try to solve any riddles yet. But they're looking like they're going to be challenging. Uh, another side mission. You have a couple of um, of enemies that want you to do things. Like, I can't remember his name or how to pronounce it. I think it's Zaus or whatever, but he's a, pretty much a psychopath. He just loves killing people. And he wants you to go and answer these phones before he kills another victim. So, you know, that's that. You have Bane who wants you to destroy these Titan things, I guess, so no more Titans can be created like him. I don't fully understand that, but that's another side mission. But you basically get my point. There are a lot of side missions this time. Compared to Arkham Asylum, which basically only had one. Another thing is, you know, you have Catwoman, who you can play as. She has a totally different little side story. Um, because when you save her in the beginning, I'm pretty sure she just goes off on her own. So you could play with her. But you do have to either have the code, which you get. I'm pretty sure, I think if you pre-ordered the game, or if you just bought the game, period. You know I game fly this, so I don't have that code. You can also get it on the marketplace. But apparently, you, if you don't put that code in at the beginning, which they actually prompt you for, um, you might as well start over if you want to play with Catwoman. She also has her own Riddler trophy that only she can get. So I found that interesting. You also have Nightwing and Robin stories, which are also DLC or pre-ordered content. 
I don't think I'm going to dabble with those just for the fact that I'm trying to beat this game as soon as possible. So I don't really think I'm going to dabble with any side mission stories. I think I'm pretty much just going to go main story only and see how fast I can beat it. Now I got five hours in. I got the game today, which is Wednesday, but this video will come out Thursday. So five hours to me just doing main story missions. I got about 25%. So I'm guessing about two or three more solid days I'll have this game completed. I just pretty much just want to run through it as fast as I can. But I highly, highly recommend to pick up this game. If you have not played Arkham Asylum before, maybe you should go back and try that. It's really a good game. Arkham City definitely was a step up from Arkham Asylum. But it's pretty much the same thing, you know. It's, it's still staying to the formula that works. And that's great. And this game got a 10 out of 10 from Game Informer. Now, a game has not gotten 10 out of 10 since, I'm pretty sure, Grand Theft Auto 4. Now, don't quote me on that. But I know that it was one of the Grand Theft Autos. This game got a perfect, so you know that it's good. This is a game that you should not pass up by any means. By any means. They have so many different enemies from all of the Batman stories in this one. So it doesn't disappoint. It's not just the Joker and, you know, Penguin or whatever. No, even Penguin makes an appearance. He's he's a well-known boss, but he's not one of the main ones. Everyone mostly knows just Batman and Joker, but it's not just those two on this one. And even the Riddler makes an appearance on Arkham Asylum. He didn't really do anything but just give you the little riddles or whatever, but... Dog, get the game if you can. I highly recommend it. But I'm JG the Don. See ya.